Hi, I'm Mick, and this is called uh, getting getting drunk on the dorky uh, whiskey. Fall Classic Heritage Distilling Company from Gig Harbor. It's uh, it's thirty, it's sixty proof, thirty percent ABV. There's a little, you can see it, that stick right there. I'm just floating in there. I wish I could take it out and eat it with a little cinnamon. There's a lot of whiskey to get to before I can have that. So, enjoy. Mmm. Not bad. Just like swallowing no blood. Uh, sucks. I love baseball though. Mm. Ah. I also have some scotch. I think I'm gonna bust that out. I've had enough of this. It's crap. Alright. I'm also drinking some tea in there because I like to mix caffeine and alcohol. Because it's late and I'm tired. Alright, this is Trader Joe's single malt scotch whiskey, which cost $24. But it had tax applied, so it was more than that. Uh, yeah. Usually, single malt scotch is only 10 years, most are like 12 or more. They're pretty damn expensive, so getting this for $23 is probably a sign of its poor quality. So, let's enjoy it. $23 is a lot for a poor quality scotch, so this better be decent, or else I'm gonna be pissed off. Alright. Here we go. Is it a twist on? Or is it a cork? It's a cork. Pop off cork. Ready to smell this guy? Smelling away. Ugh, this is gonna be tough. <laughs> Gotta prove my manhood. It can't be worse than the blended scotch. That was nine ninety nine for a liter. This is only 750 milliliters, but it cost almost three times as much. So it gives you an idea of how shitty that scotch was compared to this. Alright. One, two, three. Go! Hmm. Hmm. That's weird. Well, it's weird because I just went from sweet and crap to non sweet and crap. I don't know. <laughs> Who drinks this stuff with fun? Retards. Alright. So, that's interesting. I'm going to be hung over tomorrow. I work 12 hours and I'm drinking. So. I'm drinking it to excess tonight. Because it's the only way I can kill the pain. It's a nineties theme party. I'm wearing I'm wearing a sweater right now. I have, I have a flannel though. I don't know what to wear. No ideas. Ah!
uh, Brad says I should dress like Justin Timberlake. Well, how does one do that when they don't have any of JT's clothes? Seems like it'd be difficult. That's the party crowd. Huh? I accidentally opened up a conversation with Aaron Scott Man. Scotch! Scotch! Straight from the fucking bottle! <laughs> hmm. Hmm. So it dies on your tongue. Like, you don't taste it on your tongue, but you taste an aftertaste. It's got a nice. Nice. Go ahead. Hmm. It's got a nice gasoline aftertaste, like it said. Ah, oh, I don't want to die. I want to get drunk with Jackie Chan. Sounds fun. I'm gonna go finish my um my tea. Peace. Hey, is milk vanilla flavored? Why is it white if it's not vanilla flavored? Ah, fuck. So I t I'm talking to my friend right now, see? And we're talking about how martial arts are stupid. And I was like, I'm just getting drunk on shitty whiskey. And he was like, he was like, Jackie Chan gets drunk in his fight scenes, and I'm like, well, that sounds stupid, and he's like, do you want to get, no, I said, I want to get drunk with Jackie Chan, and he was like, to fight him, and I was like, no, just talk to him about love, man, just talk about life and stuff, Jackie Chan. Maggie Chung's in Police Story? That's the bear girl from, uh, least, not Police Academy, from, uh, In the Mood for Love. I don't know what I should do. Got two choices. Two choices. What should I do? I need you to help me decide. Crafty? Fan. Crafty? Fan. I'm a bartender now. I'm supposed to be like, mm, 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 Scotch from Trader Joe's, right? Um, okay, I'll try this. Mmm. Oh. Tastes like gasoline. Ooh, that's what I look for in my whiskey. Oh fuck. People are retarded. Drinking's for cowards. Idiots.
Oh my god! Bro, I have no idea. What should I fucking wear, man? I'm thinking that I might just wear sweatpants. I'm looking 90s fashion. 90s fashion trends. God. 90s and fashion. Um, what was big? Rat tails? The genesis, uh, beginning of fashion injection, the beginning of adoption of tattoos, body piercings, aside from ear piercings, so let's... Body modification. I'm gonna body modify myself for this fucking party. Yeah. Put Grunge. Alternative rock. Minimalist fashion. Cool. What black people wear during this decade? Grunge. Nice. Basically, just go as my fucking self. Ah! I need a high top vein. I wonder if I can do it in one night. Alright, so it looks like I have to get greasy hair. Closest thing to grease is gel, so I'm gonna be like, yo, yo, yo. Ugh, my god. Be like, yo, yo, who died made you president of being ugly? Yeah, yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, I'll be back to do that. I'll get it shit. I know they wore flannel, but what kind of shirts do they wear underneath the flannel? That's my question. I don't know. T-shirts? Fuck. Hmm. Mmm. Flannel. T-shirt. And messed up jeans. Just put all my jeans are in pristine condition. One of them doesn't have a like a button for the fly, but I mean that's not the kind of damage they're looking for. I think it's more of like a like holes in the knees than just your fucking fly undone. <laughs> just have like my flannel and my dick out and be like, come on guys, it's the nineties. I wish those are the kind of parties I go to. It is the 90s. The 90s never ended as far as I'm concerned. I was born in the fucking 90s. How was I supposed to know what to wear? Diapers? I wore diapers throughout the entire 90s. I didn't get whitey tighties until January 1st, 2000. That's the first time I put on whitey tighties. And I haven't, I haven't stopped. Yeah, well, you think I'm going to change to boxers? No. Boxer briefs? No. Why would I do that? Boxer briefs are for pussies. They're like, oh no, they're gonna, they're gonna make fun of me if I wear whiny tinies, but I want the, the comfort of a decent pair of underpants. Yeah, just wear briefs and they cup your ass pretty well. Keep your junk in place. That way you can work out without having to change your underpants into some weird spandex thing. Like you can run and just be free. Like it's such a good feeling. Idiots. God, there's a lot of dumb people in the world. So many fucking dumb people. Um. Uh, okay. Prefunct. That's what this video is for. I'm prefuncting. A little more, a little more hair grease. A little more hair grease. Grease is the word. Snap boots and snap fingers. Oh yeah, I'm getting greased up. Try running your hands through this thing. I haven't showered in weeks. I haven't washed this shirt in years. Ready to get fucking crazy. Oh, please and thank you. There better be a lot of deck season midnight runners at this party because that's a good thing. Alright. Guess I'm going as grunge, why not? Fuck it. I have in my pocket. Bite. Penny, I miss it. What? So I have a penny. From 2013. That's a past. Oh my god. 
That's what you should do. I should get a bunch of like 90s coins and be like, hey, can I make a purchase? It's the 90s. Oh, why don't I have any coins from the 2000s? Because it's the 90s. I'm not in the future yet. They haven't made those coins yet. Hmm. Alright, I think I'm going to sign off now. 15 minutes is long enough for Nick Morris, P. Funker, Extravaganza. Alright, take care. Hopefully I have good things to report. <laughs> Hopefully I have fun. That's all I want, is I just want to have fun.